Yeah, my name is Paddy Hader. I'm a senior um, academic fellow in pharmacology. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and I work for the University of Edinburgh. It involves a combination of um, designing and implementing research projects and teaching graduate, undergraduate and um, visiting students and also supervising postdoctoral research scientists. I've always followed my own interests really. I've been very much um, taken with the biological sciences and the sciences generally. Um, I was very interested in the, the workings of the human body. Um, I did pretty well at O-level and got O-levels in all the sciences that I needed and maths and, um, and also had interests in history and geography and the usual sort of broader range of things. I then went on and did A-levels which didn't go so well. I spent a bit too much time playing rugby I think and, um, and enjoying myself so I had to have a couple of goes at my A-levels which uh, limited my choices a little bit and after that I went to do a degree in applied chemistry at what was then the Newcastle Polytechnic. Um, which I fell on my feet with really because it was a fantastically um, hands-on course. We spent a lot of time in the lab actually getting practical experience of doing lab work and, and that proved to me and uh, reassured me that it was actually being in the lab doing experiments that I enjoyed doing. Part of that degree was a sandwich year in industry so I was able to go out into industry, spend a year working, in my case in the pharmaceutical industry and that gave me, again, a really good insight into what was involved in pharmaceuticals and what you needed to get on if you went into a, an industrial setting with applied chemistry. Um, and that, that was a big factor in my deciding that what I wanted to do and what I needed to do was to go on and do a research degree. And so from that, from my degree, I went on and um, looked around at several options and, and eventually took a PhD at Glasgow, in Glasgow at Strathclyde University. I always knew I wanted to go on into further education. Um, I was very interested in the, the science subjects and I knew that um, getting a university education would broaden the options that I had and, I, and make things easier in future. And I also wanted to experience life as a student, see what it was like. It sounded like it was good fun. It, it was good fun. Um, and so you know, it, was, it was a combination of things really, but there was never any doubt in my mind that that was the path I wanted to follow. Both my parents were um, university trained, well, um, hospital trained, one was a, a doctor and one's a nurse and they, they both went through Guy's Hospital and so they spoke you know, strongly of uh, university experiences and it sounded good fun. I started playing rugby when I was uh, about 11, when I went to secondary school. I always played a lot of sport. Uh, I think there's a, quite a competitive streak in our family. Um, and so my elder brother particularly and myself played a lot of rugby at school and then for the, the town Team. And when I started doing A-levels, um, that coincided with me actually um, starting to play rugby for Ludlow Town. And then in the second year, I was vice-captain of the third team. And the, when I resat, I was captain of the third team, which takes up quite a lot of time. A lot of juggling people about and trying to find enough players for a Saturday, which sort of gets in the way of studying. And then obviously there's a social life around that. Um, and it was, it was good fun. It messed up the A-levels a couple of times, but um, it was quite an entertaining couple of years. My intention when I was um, at school would have been to try to get into medicine. Um, that was really sort of knocked on the head by my A-levels. Um, and so there was a certain amount of when I went from A-levels to Newcastle, making the best of what I could, um, and surprising myself really by how much I enjoyed the applied chemistry course at, at Newcastle. Um, but I don't think I'd have ever seen myself going into a research position, um, because I, I knew very little about it, to be honest. Thank you.